curiosity the very basis of the journey of humans curiosity fueled with imagination leads to stories and by chance discoveries then let's start at the very beginning the beginning of everything as we know every culture has its own story of creation india with its rich culture has a multitude of them for example creation by brahmadev creation by the goddess in the devi puran the lingot bhava story in the linga puran the three vishnus in the bhagavat puran and the story of the hiranyagar for now we focus on the story of the hiranyagar we are focusing on this story as it has some striking similarities with stories from different regions the story which is from the upanishads says that before there was anything there was nothing in this infinite nothingness arose a single golden womb or egg called the hiranyagarbha which floated around in the sea of non existence then at some point this egg split into two parts with one part forming the sky or swarga and the other one forming the earth or prithvi this story is a little different in the matsya purana here swayambhu the very first being of creation arose from the nothingness and created the seed of creation that is the hiranyagarbha and then entered it and then creation began for the greeks the story says that before anything there was nothing this nothingness was what the greeks called chaos she was considered to be the first primordial goddess from chaos arose gaia the earth and tartarus the abyss gaia gave rise to orenos sky from orenos gaia gave birth to 12 titans the youngest titan kronos killed his father orenos with the help from his brothers and started ruling the world kronos married his sister rhea and they gave birth to six gods Kronos came to know that history would repeat itself and his son would kill him so he swallowed his own children but Rhea saved the last child Zeus who grew up and slayed his own father his siblings were immortal and thus had grown inside Kronos's stomach Zeus and his siblings became the gods of the Greek pantheon in case of our neighbors that is the chinese the story says that before there was anything there was nothing this primordial state coalesced into a single cosmic egg for about 18000 years and within this egg the perfectly opposed principles of yin and yang became balanced and pangu emerged from the egg pangu the giant inside the cosmic egg symbolizes taiji taiji refers to when there was no duality there was no yin or yang they were a singular balanced entity Pangu is usually depicted as a primitive hairy giant who has horns on his head. Pangu began creating the world. He separated yin from yang with a swing of his giant axe, creating the earth which is the yin and the sky which is the yang. To keep them separated, Pangu stood between them and pushed up the sky. With each day, the sky grew 10 feet or 3 meters higher, the earth 10 feet thicker and Pangu himself grew 10 feet taller. This task took yet another 18000 years. Now we come to the Norse myths. The story says that before anything there was nothing. This nothingness was what was known as the Ginnunga gap. Within this empty abyss lay the Niflheim, the intense cold, and Muspelheim, the intense heat. The amalgamation of this heat and cold gave rise to the mist of creation. This mist gave birth to the first giant Ymir. Ymir gave birth to the frost giants from his sweat. The melting of the frost also created a cow called Audhumla who nourished Ymir. The cow itself got nourishment from the salt licks in the ice. As she licked, she uncovered the god named Buri. Buri had a son named Bor. Bor married the giantess Vesla and with her they gave birth to Odin, Vili and Ve. Odin along with his brothers killed Ymir and from his body they created the world they fashioned the oceans from his blood the clouds from his brain and the plants from his hair four dwarves were called to stand in the cardinal directions and hold Ymir's skull above as the sky Odin finally created the first man and woman and put a fence around them to protect them from the giants This enclosure was known as Midgard, the Earth. 
the similarities between the stories across the cultures are striking the theme of nothingness followed by a singular entity further leading to two different entities is the most obvious common point one can draw multiple conclusions from this phenomenon and these conclusions can be applied to all stories that we will compare and not just the creation stories first either one culture adopted the ideas from the other culture or second either a single parent story was present in one parent culture maybe this parent culture split up and the single story evolved in the new daughter cultures third possibility either the stories evolved independent of each other Now this points to how we as a species as humans are connected in our very basic understanding of things. Now apart from the similarities there is an important difference. In the Matsya Purana the story of Hiranyagarbha is mentioned in the context of the Mahapralaya. Here the Mahapralaya or the great dissolution of the previous universe is followed by the formation of Hiranyagarbha in the ocean of nothingness. This differentiates the Indian perspective from others in that it hints the cyclical nature of the creation and destruction of the universe. Hence, when comparing two things, we must take into account the context in which the two stories take place. In the Norse myths, there are two opposites, heat and cold, and coming together, they create the universe. While in the Chinese, Indian, and the Greek myths, the singular entity splits into a duality to give rise to the universe comparing further the indian norse and the chinese stories they describe the process by formation of earth and sky simultaneously whereas the greek said that sky orinos was the first son of the earth gaia changing the narrative now we also notice a common motif in the greek and norse stories where the younger generation slays the older one while not the same The death of Pang in the Chinese myths also shows that the death of a being for the world to be created. This motif is absent in the Indian thought. Again, this does not relate to the Indian thought being superior or inferior. The purpose of the comparative series is not to judge the perspectives as right or wrong, but rather to appreciate the diversity that gives us our identities and similarities that unite us. As Black Panther said, more connects us than separates us we will compare and look at other stories of creation in the next videos as there are too many versions of a single story to cover in a single video if you like this video and found our insights interesting then do follow us on our page satyalok on instagram and help us to spread the greatness of ancient india with as many people as we can stay tuned stay educated and last but not the least know your culture by self investigating शुभास्ते पंथान सन्ति जय हिंद जय भारत